How is it going, everybody? Welcome to episode 22 of Skyrim. Vigilant. Special edition. Mod playthrough. Always a mouthful to set. But last episode, I'd said I return here to Sir Caius and Atima. Since we got Atima's pelt last episode, as you guys can see right here, we can actually return it to Atima and then do the optional side quest if we want to to get Caius as a follower. So, let's all go ahead and talk to Atima. Is this yours? Give Atima's pelt. Ah! Atima's pelt! Did you get it from this one's old mother? Atima's uh. very happy. Kajit will give you one of her dolls in return. Take good care of it. It is Atima's favorite. Nice. Okay, so we got Atima's favorite doll. What does this deal? Health regenerates 50% faster? Yes, please. Does that take off the, uh, the egg, though? Where's the egg at? Ah, sadly it does, but... 50% faster, it's pretty good. So, um, yeah. As you guys see, Sir Kai doesn't have any dialogue, but, uh, if we just cruelly murder Atima, and we talk to Kai's about How it. How could you kill an innocent child? Now, if we say because children are weak, they deserve to die, Kai will get pissed and attack us. We don't really want that. Uh, we gotta say, Kai, the rest is over. Do your duty as a knight. You may be right. I've been sitting here and doing nothing long enough. Now we get him as a follower, so, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure we can take, what, what's he doing? We can probably take some of his items. Um, awesome. Let's see, I need to trade something with you. Yeah, we can take Mercy of Stendar, Key to the Sewer, Ferryman's Key, and then the Knight of Stendar's Shield. So, uh, yeah, this stuff looks really cool. We can't get his armor. We can make his armor at the Amulet Center far, though, so it doesn't really matter. Got to part ways. Bye-bye, Caius. Just killed your friend for no reason. I just want to take your loot. Let's go back upwards. All right, so I'm going to meet you guys back to where we were in the Imperial City District, which was right outside of, uh, what, the Gardener's Home? I'm pretty sure it's where we were at. So, right in this area. I'll meet you guys there. See you in a jiffy. Alright, we are back here. We have a team of favorite doll. We stole Caius' loot. Now we are ready to adventure into the Imperial City District. See what we can find. All the secrets and all the, the amazing loot we can get. Uh, and all the dried corpses we could loot if we want to. Uh, there's no reason for me to really pick that. So, but yeah, there's a coffin in there if you guys want it. <laughs> so yeah, I hope you guys are doing well. Um, what is this charnel here? Curia Mori Math. Oh, I thought that was Pepe. Damn it. <laughs> I thought that was Pepe. So, no, this is where we have to go to actually advance the uh, main quest. So, we're not going to go here yet. We'll come here later when we need to. Um, Jeez, the sound. You see, as you guys know, last episode I mentioned we can't go inside to the tower, whatever the heck it's called, district. I didn't play Oblivion too much, but um, there's knights guarding each like entrance, I'm pretty sure. So, we can't go there yet. Um... We have to go through Curia Mori Math and go all the way to, like, the Inquisition Court District. This area right here, I'm, I'm pretty sure. I'm not going to do that yet. That will be near the end of the playthrough. We're going to try to get all the side quests done and whatnot. So, yeah, that's an important location. We will be back there later. Let's go left, because left is always always leads to something good. Oh, we have more enemies. We have a Tybella statue. Sir Gregory's still with us, I hope. B word. Get out of here. Die. Puny. You guys are weak. Get him, wolf. Come on, raise you be a killing machine. I didn't even block anything there. I don't know what happened, but. Alright, so this leads. Th these lead to that same area. It doesn't really matter. Both paths do. Um, filter strength. Very nice. Ah, so this is where. This is where spell tomes will come in handy. Um. Let's read the Die Bell statue first, and we gotta activate this gate using a conjuration spell. So, this is note six. I think we have note six, right? Or we're on note six? Yeah. Let's see what he's got. To everyone, you think you are in trouble because the door won't open, right? But I want you to calm down. Take a deep breath and look up. Do you see a crest at the top of the gate? This door's mechanism responds to a particular school of magic represented by the crest at the top. I've also included the necessary spell tone with this note to help you. That Bella bless your journey, Gregory. 
Oh, nice. Okay, so we gotta use bound bow. Uh, I'm pretty sure we can use any bound bow. I don't think it really matters that much. Um, where's the bow at in here? And we have like a flame bow. There it is. Let's go ahead and use that here. Now, if we hit this up here at the top, it should open up for us. Nice. So what is this? Oh, it's the dried well. Nice. Okay, so yeah, we'll head inside here. Um, there's some, some pretty. Oh, we don't have that yet. Nice. And we never uh, used a piece of bow last episode or last few episodes, so sorry about that. But yeah, we have a um, little player home here inside the Imperial City District, so we'll go inside, check it out. Alrighty. Yeah, this place is really cool. It's a small player home. Uh, there's an Aurora in here, a little merchant. You could sell whatever the hell you want to her. Uh, we got a shrine Meridia we could pray at if we wanted to, but we're gonna talk to. Gloriel the Valkyrie. A traveler. This is the last shrine of Meridia. Feel free to rest here. Are there any other shrines of Meridia? This is the only one left. After her largest temple, Dilodil, vanished 200 years ago, Meridia's power began to decline. Meridia's beacon is weakening. With every passing day, lately, I can't hear her voice anymore. I must brace myself for the inevitable. Are there any followers of Meridia? Other? Not anymore. Uh-oh. Some were driven mad and wandered into the wasteland, and others committed suicide. Now I am the only one who still serves Meridia. But if you stay with me, there will be two of us. What do you say? No thanks, I won't spread your religion. Are you lonely here? Long live Meridia! <laughs> I'll say, are you lonely here? I'd be lying if I said I'm not. It's been a long time since I talked to anyone. So please, humor me for a bit. Interesting. Have you ever heard about Varla? He's the one who killed me. Ooh. I remember. He's a skilled swordsman, but he hesitates in battle. Yeah. Perhaps his fight is not really his own. And we know why. So, uh, Varla is half human, half uh, whatever the heck she is. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, what do you know about this place? Since the Army of Order illuminated it from the west this part of oblivion changed it's like a world in twilight on the brink of death that light also exposed the whole distorted past again the shadows of this light are reaching back to the ancient past digging up those long dead in the end they may even reach Merethic Era and the origin of Molag Bal. What a sight that will be. Really interesting, really interesting. Yeah, now, so let's see what she has for sale. What do you say? Oh, yeah, so she does sell the Dawn Cross stuff. She also sells the armor, the regular set of army, and Meridia's Beacon. So we're going to go ahead and buy that. We won't buy this stuff. Um, you guys are more than welcome to. I think that's all she... Oh, yeah, she sells these, too. These are pretty big. I think we're going to buy every single one. So, uh, I don't know if we can, actually. I know Meridia's bow is pretty overpowered. So, um... We'll definitely buy that one. Yeah, but... Pretty, pretty cool stuff. I mean... I really like... I really like how... She's just kind of chilling here, you know? So, we can get rid of the flame bow. We won't really need that. Uh, Meridia's bow is what we want. So, we should be at the bottom here. Yeah, no, Meridia's bow is pretty, pretty OP. So, um, Anvil Zenithar. Yeah, Anvil Zenithar. Uh, we got storage chests here. So, if I wanted to, I could transfer everything from Map Multi Priory over into here. But I don't really want to do that. There's really no reason to, since I'm just playing through the mod. But, um, yeah, there's this place. So, let me kind of, let me actually set Meridia's bow as number two. So, that's my new bow now. 
We'll summon it here. Yeah, this thing's pretty cool. This is the flame bow still, is it? Okay, now we're using Meridia's bow. Yeah, now look at this. And if you shoot arrows, watch this. It absolutely destroys any living undead. So, living undead, that makes no sense. That's Chuck's, that's a contrast each other. Chuck's the position. That's the word. Let's go back to Cold Harbor. Yeah, no, this bow is really cool. So, um, we'll be using it for a bit. Hopefully, we can increase our archery skill. Hopefully, it's not too weak. So, let's go ahead and activate that. And advance. Onward. What do we have over here? I think we have more giant knights, if we're not careful. Oh, come on, man. My mouse is, like, very iffy when I use bow and arrow. Yeah, if, once we increase our archery skill, this should do a good amount of damage. Notice how he's stunned, in a way. That's really cool. There's the giant knight I don't want to fight. There's two of them. That's lovely. Love to see that. He's coming after me now. Ah, oh, bullocks. Fucking balls and cock, dude. Balls and cock. I'm so fucked. No! No, not Daedroth! <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> All right, let's tread lightly. All right, let's go inside Gordius Charnel. Ah, shit. Okay, I do remember this now. This is a boss fight. It's gonna be pretty cool. Let's see how this goes. Something absorbs your dragon souls. Awesome. Thank you so much for that. Gallon Specter of Emperor <laughs> Emperor Gorius. Yeah, this fight is. This fight's. Not too bad, if I remember, like, correctly. He is pretty quick. He is a noble swordsman, so we gotta be really careful. Found it fitting to wear the glorious uh, armor this episode, too, so. As we use the great sword of Trinimac, absolutely demolish him. I must say, man, this mod soundtrack, I just kind of want to shut up so you guys can kind of hear it. It is absolutely beautiful. Oh yeah, massacre, frenzy. Get him, wolves. Oh yeah, no, he's cake. Yeah, no, we destroyed him. Give me that karma. Can my dragon souls back, please? Oh, so yeah, Bomeo, we got Emperor Gorius armor, and this is actually a stupidly overpowered set. So I'm definitely gonna put that bad boy on. We get Emperor Gorius' sword. Deal 3% more damage per Dragon Soul. So that actually gives us a use for our uh, Dragon Souls now. So, I mean, it's pretty cool stuff. Does it have a weapon art, though? Emperor's Aura. Okay, let's see what this does. Covers Caster's body with Emperor's Aura, improves armor rating. What? Oh, that's beautiful. That is so cool. Oh, man. Now, that is sick. I love that. Anyways. What's going on up here? Who's this goofball? <gasps> Emperor Gorius. Wow. So now, yeah, we get the piece of bow from him. So, we'll go ahead and use that. We get a jeweled goblet. Might as well take it. Some deadly poison. And the Ash of St. Sar, so increase our health by 10 points. He has no head. His head's right there, I assume. Play soccer with it, I don't care. Um, search the coffin, might as well. Get some great loot from these coffins. I say that so much, but it's true. Wild Hunt? What is that? Oh, it's from a number of farmers. Is that everything? Like, what's this lever deal? Oh, it activates that, so it locks the room here. I don't think there's anything back here of, of note. I think it's just a little boss fight area, so. Nice. That was a really cool, that was a really cool fight. That was awesome. Um, did I get my dragon souls back? I don't even... I can't even check, so. But, yeah. Let's head back out to Cold Harbor. Hopefully, I don't get destroyed by giants again.
Oh god, there's two of them. I got one! Alright, we got one down. I have a feeling this is it. No, don't die now. Yes. No! Alright. So I finally got him. Give me your goddamn shield. That was so annoying. That was the most annoying fight. Oh my god, man. So stupid. But yeah, got that done. Um, jeez, man. <laughs> alteration? No one wants to use alteration. That's the most useless spell ever. Uh, spell tree. Mage lights. Activate for me, please. Thank you very much. Wait a second. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. It's, it's Tyrannus. You can actually hit him. There you go. Fine. I was hitting the dead body. That's a little disrespectful. I mean, he's, he's, he's offering a fight right now. The first act, he wasn't too hard, but he's being a little punk now. Let's see if I can get the wolf on him and use my uh, weapon art. Right, he's screwed now. Yeah, no, the weapon art, like weapon thingy only works when you actually have the weapon or activated so we're getting karma for that i don't know why because he was innocent but we can get more vagrant armor if we want tyrannus bastard sword dope and then the key to the front gate so this will out here will lead us to the elysian court plaza we don't need to go there yet Let's see so we have an idea of where we are now especially if we look at the map we're right here so nice so he's taken down um obviously he was Mourning the loss of Lillian and Karine. We, we killed them. I, I, I do feel really bad about it still. But, uh... It's tight. It's tight. They can tough it out. So we got Illusion we uh, cast up here. I think Frenzy actually should work. Should go over there. Yeah, sweet. Talk about a dub. Alright, so I think we have time for one more... No, not one more giant fight. That's not what I meant. We have time for one more dungeon to go through. And we should be good. I don't fuck with that. Nope, you didn't see me. Yeah. St. Dulce is Charnel, so we might have to fight him, actually. No, let's stay away from him. So, where's the entrance to this? We have to go around. Yeah, so I think this might be a little long. But I can, I'm willing to make this episode a little longer. So, yeah, let's do it. Alrighty, I love the look of this place so far. Let's just make a save just in case. I don't remember what exactly is here, so. Um, this place looks very, very bare and open. Um, ah, I see ya. Hidden spell tomb back here. We got sealed sun. One of the Archangels of June all fire explosions for 228 points of damage. Targets on fire take extra damage. I'm telling you, man, there's some crazy spells from this mod, and it's so worth it. Any, like, class playthrough you're doing. There's a boss chest back here, too. With your ball and the chicks, I'm not going to open it, but... It's just so worth getting this mod in your load order, because you get so much out of it. Oh, shit. It's royal Guard, so this must be an important place we're coming up upon. Um, this definitely looks like a boss arena. This right here looks like a boss arena. I'm, I'm excited. This has been a pretty big episode so far. We've done a lot. Let's go ahead and cover that save. Let's see who we're fighting against. Huh? Ardell? Oh, it's... Oh, no! Oh, man! This fight's hard! This fight's so hard! I, I can't see him! We got a weapon art now! We're lucky it staggers him. So this is the If you guys don't remember, I'm pretty sure this is the vampire we fought. Um, his armor set is so cool looking. I want that now. Yeah, if you guys can't tell, he is a vampire. Um, by all the teleporting that he's doing. 
This is a pretty tough fight, mainly because he dual wields and he goes invisible and teleports. Just kind of like LeMay Ball, but except he actually fights you. This fight is so cool. Oh, so if, you, if we do the side power attack, we get that beam? No, we don't. I'm an idiot. He's so unpredictable, but he doesn't, do en he doesn't do enough damage, so I think that's like... He's not like the hardest boss ever, that's why. Nice, he's dead. Oh! Damn, gang karma got St. Dulce's key. Can we wear his armor? Yeah! Oh, that armor set looks so dope. It's cool. I could very black katanas. Gladly take those. Finaster step ring. So stamina will generate 100% faster if we have this on. I'll gladly wear that because we need that so bad. Piece of Bow Vigilant Art Hell. Sweet. We can now conjure him. And now we're going to wear his armor. Yep, that's him. That's who we met in Act 2. Alright, that was one of the... I wouldn't say coolest, but that was a really cool fight. Like, that was an awesome fight. I really did enjoy that. It felt really badass. So, yeah, really enjoyable fight. So, let's see what's inside here. St. Dulce herself. Wow. Now, that's poetic right here. This is perfect screenshot material. I'm sorry. Oh, so we activated a dream. Okay. Interesting. I don't remember this dream at all. I don't remember this place at all. Anything hidden back here, there usually is. Can't fool me, Skyrim. Or Vigilant, at least. I know your tricks. I wonder if that one person's watching us here. I just wonder. Uncle Shio, where you at, buddy? If you guys haven't noticed, in every dream, Shiogoraf has been somewhat involved. So, I'm really interested to see if he's involved in this one, too. I don't exactly know the exact lore behind it, so that's a little different, but... Holy shit. Where's Shio at? There he is! <laughs> I knew it! I knew he'd be here. Can we go talk to him before we... Go do whatever the fuck this is. Uncle Shayo. What do you got to say to me, buddy? Ah, he won't talk. Interesting. Can we push him off his... No, we can't. <laughs> Alright, let's go figure out what's going on over here. Because this looks brutal shit. Who are you? <gasps> Maruk. No way. DM good profit. Alright. 77... Dragonborn, bad man, a god of endless freedom. His trace, Shazar. What are you doing, Maruk? Dulsa, do you see the stone? Seventy-seven secret rituals will soon be finished, and then the lost stone of Alesh will be restored. This is why I called you, beloved Dulsa. Alesh commanded it. For this secret is to be completed with your blood and that of the child in your belly. This is madness. There is neither madness nor reason here. The word of Alesh is the truth. It is my mission to wash this stone with blood and place it in the tower. The stone showed it to me. It showed me a hero who shall shatter the Aldemiri, plunge the sword into the snake and conquer the continent. I don't know whether this is a vision of future or past, but if it brings us even closer to that day, then I am willing to sacrifice you and my child for it. Huh? What? Oh! No! I don't want to fight him! 
So I assume we're supposed to die. Karma gain. Yeah, we did the right thing. Red stone and soul drinker. Damn. Target dies within 5 seconds, fills the soul gem, burns the target for 10 points. Targets on fire take extra damage. We will take both. I don't know if we keep both, but... Uh-oh. So in reality, Maruk killed Dulsa. And he, had, he was supposed to have a child with Dulsa. And Pepe for some reasons here, so let's go talk to him. Hi, buddy. Look what I did. I did all of this. What? What happened here? Please, hide the stone. Hide it somewhere where no one can find it. Oh, I understand. I will do this. I promise by Mara. Damn. So if you guys don't know, that's actually like what happened. Um, or that's not what happened. Maruk actually killed Dulsa. But in the dreams that we're in, we're supposed to like correct what was wrong. So we actually killed Maruk there and defended ourselves and we hid the stone. So yeah. Yeah, I assume saying Dulsa's nail would be on here. Give us that first point. I think this is a great place to end this episode off. This has been a very, very action packed episode, and we got a lot of cool gear. Wow, I that was a fun episode. That was really enjoyable to go through. So, um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. And as always, peace out.